The NYPD is now investigating after a message of hate was spray painted in big, bold letters outside a black owned business in Brooklyn. Uh, this restaurant has been in the community for more than. So what? Who gives a shit? I don't care. I don't give a shit. Do like LeBron did. You should have did like LeBron James did and cleaned it up before the cops got there. Press one. Pull a LeBron, clean it up before the cops get there. Who gives a shit? I don't care. I don't care. Y'all run around punching women. Y'all run around punching white women. I don't give a fuck about this. Press one. I don't give two shits about this. Y'all run around punching white women in the face in broad daylight and walking off. The NYPD is now investigating. And getting out the next day. And getting arrested and getting out the next day. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Shout out to Marat. He says, watching too much Oc News got me banned from Reddit. Yeah, I need a Reddit, man. I need an Oc Nation Reddit, man. I'm going to have to do that, man. Um, I know somebody got a um Oc Nation Discord, unofficial Oc Nation Discord. One day I'll make an official Oc Nation Discord, but as for now, somebody has an unofficial Oc Nation Discord. Um, but yeah, I do need a subreddit, man. I need to make a subreddit. I need to make a subreddit, man. So that y'all don't get banned from Reddit, man. The NYPD is now investigating after a message of hate was spray painted in big, bold letters outside a black owned business in Brooklyn. Uh, this restaurant has been in the community for more than a decade. The owner talked to Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore, and she joins us live now outside that restaurant in Bed Stuy. Crystal. Is she crying? Well, is this bitch crying? Joins us live now outside that restaurant in Bed Stuy. Crystal. Well, David, Liz, I can tell you that someone spray painted the N word uh, right outside Rustic Tavern's uh, cellar door, the sidewalk cellar door, as well as on the sidewalk right outside uh, the main entryway. We know from police that someone did this uh, sometime early this morning. And as you mentioned, Rustic Tavern is a black owned business. So as patrons show up tonight, they're entering and leaving the business with this hateful messaging right on the sidewalk. It just caught us off guard, right? We're coming in to open the business and all of a sudden, boom. Franz Metellus is still processing this hateful speech written on the sidewalk outside his bed business. Could it be somebody who's going through trouble in their mind? Could it just be somebody who just hates me or somebody who just, I don't know, going through a rough day? I have no idea. The N-word is spray painted twice outside Rustic Tavern. Metellus believes it happened sometime this morning. We're looking for more cameras. Metellus, a Brooklyn native, opened the restaurant more than 16 years ago, making the transition from an attorney to hospitality, a new path toward helping his community. We really much built it because there's nothing else around here. And uh, we thought we were doing it for the neighborhood. And, you know, the neighborhood took a liking to us, and we've been here ever since. A hidden gem, as some describe it. Black-owned. Like owned, um, and I mean the food is so good. Now, a white owned, white owned, and the food is so good. Could you imagine somebody saying that? Yo, yeah, we love this place. It's white owned, and the food is so good. Gem, as some describe it, black owned. Like owned, um, and I mean the food is so good. Now a possible target of hate, according to police. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you would think not in this day and age that would. Why do black people always say that shit? Y'all irritate me with that shit. I just want to wring y'all necks when y'all say that, cause y'all y'all run around and cry racism all day. And then it's always, well, I can't believe we're still having to deal with this. 
y'all the most racist. Y'all running around punching white women in the face in broad daylight. Yeah, yeah. Um, you would think not in this day and age that would happen, but unfortunately, you have those randoms who just can't understand the culture and respect, you know, us being in our spaces. I have to just brush it off and and move forward. It's it's nothing else I can do. Yeah, like them white women punt, brush it off and when they get punched in the face and there's nothing they can do. If this was just a normal, sane, working class white man, his life is fucking ruined. Negro, you, you could punch a white woman in the face and be out tomorrow and can keep your goddamn restaurant. And nobody will make you sell it. If this nigga punched a white woman in the face and, and got caught for some random white woman and got arrested for it, Nobody in that neighborhood would be like, you have to sell your restaurant. We want you out of here. Hell no. You could get out the next day and just go on about your life. Nothing else I can do. And Mattel is telling me that he intends to not let this get him down. He plans on gathering a team of volunteers to help clean up uh, the hateful messaging here on the sidewalk. Again, police investigating this as a possible hate crime. Never as a black person, it's always a possible fucking hate crime. 